Welcome to another video in our video series called Think 6, brought to you by Rodin Schwartz. In a recent video, I provided a high level introduction to the technology components currently under research to eventually become part of a 6G standard. Today, I would like to continue discussing the spectrum aspects for 6G with you. In a recent video, we took a closer look at terahertz frequencies. Today, I would like to explore with you another frequency layer that 6G may take advantage of. It's called FR3. As mentioned in a previous video, 6G will take advantage of the current FR1 and FR2 frequency ranges supported by 5G. The support of terahertz and now FR3 is considered as another frequency layer. FR3 is an unofficial term referring to the frequency range 3 and describing the spectrum between 7.125 to 24.25 gigahertz. Several industry alliances around the world put an eye on this frequency range and its use for wireless communication. The argument is that while providing better coverage than today's millimeter wave spectrum at 28 and 39 gigahertz, it offers also wider bandwidths than 100 megahertz channels as available in today's sub 8 gigahertz spectrum. The Next Year Alliance, an industry organization to define 6G for North America is one of these alliances and is discussing using this frequency range in its spectrum working group. Let's take a closer look. So here are the frequency ranges of interest. As we can see in North America, the lower part of the FR3 spectrum is under investigation. First and foremost, the spectrum between 7.125 to 8.5 GHz is of interest and a study shall be conducted to determine if this part of the spectrum is suitable for wireless communication if this becomes licensed or unlicensed spectrum and what power levels will be appropriate to not harm and interfere with services using the adjacent spectrum. Speaking of adjacent spectrum, 8.5 to 10 GHz. This spectrum is typically assigned to the military and used by radar, for example, for missile detection. Other services such as radio location, exploration satellites and radio navigation take advantage of the spectrum as well. Therefore, that part of the spectrum is unlikely to become available for wireless communication. The next range of 10 to 10.5 GHz is not only under investigation in the US, but also in general by the ITU and is a discussion point under Agenda Item 1.2 at the next World Radio Conference that will take place in November 2023. Speaking about regulation, the Federal Communication Commission officially announced the examination of the frequency range between 12.7 to 13.25 GHz. The goal is to explore the potential repurposing of the spectrum for next generation wireless communication, including 5G, 6G and beyond. So as we can see, there is quite some interest in the spectrum between 7.125 to 24.25 GHz that is unofficially called FR3. We here at Ronin Schwartz will continue to monitor the situation and provide an update as part of our new video series called Think 6, where we discuss interesting aspects around the next generation of wireless communication, aka 6G.